Hi there! Welcome to another Jen Stampin' for Fun Watch It Wednesday video. And today I woke up and decided I wanted to take a break of stamping Christmas cards. I've been doing a lot of Christmas cards, so I thought I would use this set called Time to Celebrate. Look at those super cute images on there. And I got this set at Founder Circle this past September, and it's not yet available. In case you're wondering, oh my gosh, I didn't see that in the catalog. Where is it? It's because it's not there yet. This is actually a Hostess exclusive set. It looks like it says Hostess up there. Um, and it looks like it's only available to hostesses when you host a stamping party and invite your friends, have a good time, and the free dollars that you earn at your party, you will uh, be able to get that set for free. So now's the time to be booking one of those. People are already booking for January and February because my guess is that set is going to be available starting January the 5th with the uh, release of the spring catalog. I think it might be January the 6th. Okay, so I cut a piece of um, Coastal Cabana cardstock. I cut it at four and a quarter and then I'm scoring it at five and a half. Okay, so this is my attempt at making a non-Christmas card today. Couldn't wait. Just fold it there and then I'm going to use some Coastal Cabana Banna Designer Series paper, and this is awesome about stamping up that you've got the cardstock and the designer paper to match, so there's no fuss, no thinking. Whoa, that was a bit crooked, so that's why I don't put on too much adhesive because if I make a mistake, I can just take it off and try and reposition it. I try not to fuss too much because then it just takes too long. Okay, that's a little better. And then we'll just stamp our image. Here's a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to use the Memento black ink pad. And I'm using this black ink pad, first of all, because it's a great black. It just is nice and smooth, stamps so cleanly. I love this line art image here. That is so beautiful. And you get all that detail just with that one stamp. So we'll stamp that, and the Memento black ink pad works great with our Blendabilities markers. And these are alcohol-based markers. They come in a package of three, and uh, a light you get a light, medium, and dark shade. This is the Coastal Cabana collection. And I think I'm gonna use the medium. And there's so many techniques and different things you can do with these Blendabilities markers. And that might be a topic for another Watch It Wednesday video. But what I'm gonna do is just use them to color. And some of you might be asking, well, what's the difference between these markers and the other water-based markers that Stamping Up offers? And basically, the difference is that this is alcohol-based rather than water-based. And all I know that means for me functionally is that when I'm coloring, I don't get weird streak lines that I do with the water-based markers. When you're using regular markers, you can kind of see every every brush move you make you sort of see a bit of a streak with the water-based ones but with these alcohol-based markers I can color in circles, I can color with brush strokes up and down, across you don't see those streak marks and to me that's huge, that's exciting that makes your image really look great and professional not that I'm seeking to be so professional but it does give an extra little wow factor to your finished product, your finished project. Okay, so the biggest tip that I heard from my friend um, about using these markers is not to overthink it. I kept thinking, oh, I gotta blend these colors, I gotta be fancy and artsy and all of that, and you totally can. You can blend the different light, dark, medium shades, and um, the, the lids are very tight just so that the lids are really tight so that you can um, keep the alcohol in there as much as possible, not let it evaporate. Okay, but you know, just to use them as regular markers in one color and not feel like you have to blend all three colors together is okay too, because it still looks great. I'm using the Calypso Coral, one of the Calypso Coral markers in that collection, and I am trying to go a bit fast because I don't know how exciting it is for you to watch me color. Maybe we'll do the little flag here, a couple of dots. We can even dress that up a bit more um, with the uh, brown markers. Maybe I'll do the basket here. 
I don't know how well you can see my coloring. The basket here in dark, and I'll just go in a bit of a circular motion, and then I can go over it with the light. So again, there's so many techniques, but I'm not going to kind of focus on them now. I just want to get this card kind of finished up, and it's, it's already looking pretty cute. I can dress up that flag a bit. Okay, so let me hold this up so you can get a closer view of the the coloring there. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it out using our framelits. And I'm just going to use this window framelit. And the framelits come in a set with all um, different sizes. And then I'm just going to roll it through on the big shot. So I'll just put that here. You probably won't be able to see me do it, but you get the idea that the framelit on one side has a blade and you put the blade down onto the paper and kind of line it up where you want it. I think that looks pretty good. And stick it on, put the next plate on, and then roll it through. And it's some kind of magic, some kind of pressure, and it cuts the paper. Okay, so there we go. And so then it'll just pop right out and I've got the shape that I want. So I'm just going to do exactly the same thing, except I'm going to use the Calypso Coral cardstock with the larger framelit so that we'll have a very easy and nice mat to go with our image. So I'll just roll that out. Okay, I love it that it's just so simple. Look at that. It's going to match perfectly. So cute. So cute. And you know who this card is for? I already decided this morning that this card is going to be for my husband. And you'll see this little sentiment I'm going to use. I think it's perfect for him. Okay, so I will just stick that on. A little goes a long way with our adhesive. And just stick that on there. Sorry, everything kind of went sideways. Okay, so that's that. And then don't forget, we already kind of mounted this on here. And we can just stick that on. Okay. Okay, already that's looking cute. And then I'll just take another set from the box. I'm going to go with the I Get Carried Away Over You because my husband is... He's a great guy and he's been so supportive with all these stamping parties I've been doing lately and he helps me carry things to the car and he asks me how the party went when I get home and I love talking about stamping parties because they are so fun. I have so much fun when I'm there. I have so much fun. For me it's just so, oh I got a bit of black there. It's just so much fun to look, see the ladies taking a load off their shoulders and just maybe they're talking about how their day went or what's up with their kids and they're just enjoying time together. And uh, I love to just listen to that conversation and I just feel blessed that I get to bring a little joy into their life that evening. So that's what my stamping parties are like. I just bring all the supplies and the crafts and the cardstock, everything pre-cut, and the women just sit and create. And this could be one of the cards that I make at, that you guys make at your party if you want to book something with me coming in January or February. And uh, there you go. It's super simple, super quick. And let me show you a card using kind of the same layout. Okay, and this one is a Christmas card using Lost Lagoon and the Bright and Beautiful stamp set. But see how you can use a similar layout idea, just a strip of designer series paper and a central image. I did that in both of them. And you've got a totally different card. Okay, so I think that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the, um, oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Just one last quick thing. This is my original that I kind of did to prepare for this video. I'm just going to hold a close up here so that you can kind of see. I did a little bit of paper piercing around the window frame cutout here. Okay, and so Stampin' Up! has all the different um, paper piercing designs, and this one is the window frame one. So it matches with all the different shapes. And I just thought putting that little extra paper piercing just gave it a little more interest. Okay, so that's it. Uh, have fun stamping. 
I look forward to sharing all the new and great things in the spring catalog with you. And hopefully you'll be able to enjoy them too. Okay, talk to you soon. If there's anything you need, feel free to give me a shout at my website, www.genevieve.stampinup.net. And you can contact me. Talk to you soon. Bye.